Remember the iPod Touch? Well, it still exists today to some extent, but it really only exists with the seventh generation, which is currently out in stores. This one, I have the fourth generation. I bought this on eBay for about $20. It has a frayed cable. I plan to get a new one, a new Apple uh, cable eventually. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it from Apple themselves. Probably not. I might get it from the Walmart or other stores if they have them. But I'm putting some music on here. And this device not only can be read in Mac OS Catalina on Finder, but it's also recognized still on Apple Music. They haven't dropped support for this. They haven't even dropped support for the first generation iPod that came out around 2001. If you want to watch a video on that, I recommend watching This Does Not Compute's video on it. It's a more recent um, video he made about a month or two ago and it still works with adapters and everything on a modern Mac it's currently running iOS 6.1.6 .6, which is the max that it can run which you can put iOS 7 on it but it's gonna run very slow so I'm gonna avoid doing that I mainly have this device to work with one of these not the remote but this device this is a tech HD one HD radio receiver I picked this up on eBay for $35 and it works perfectly it picks up FM and AM HD signals I cannot get AM to work very well but FM works perfectly and the main reason why I wanted an HD radio is just for more channels to browse through including one channel where it has the Bob and Tom show in the mornings but on the HD signal not on the regular analog signal so I got one of these it works perfectly and you can play your iPod on here or you can play other devices on here, not with adapters, but I'm going to show the ports in just a minute. And yes, I am recording this at 1 in the morning, but it's only because I'm testing it out. Here are some of the buttons that it includes. The sleep button, which you can actually program this to go to sleep after two hours of playing so once it hits zero minutes it will literally turn off preset button you can preset 20 FM and 10 AM stations there's a mute button which you could actually mute the device all itself instead of turning the volume knob or turning down the volume with the remote you just hit the mute button there's also one on the remote you could set two alarms and there's a preset equalizer and then up here there's your volume your power button for the radio a function button wake to what this pretty much does is it pretty much changes the frequency from AM to FM to iPod to auxiliary etc etc there's a memory button for presets. Clock adjustment adjusts the clock and date. HD tag, which will save the song onto your iPod Touch or your iPhone when a song is playing over the radio. Play pause for the iPod. And a snooze dimmer, which what this does is it pretty much changes the brightness of the
display, which I think is awesome. And the tuning knob, if I didn't go after it. And I would avoid using these knobs and prefer using the remote. But what you'll also see in just a minute is that the remote also has some flaws to it. And I was messing around with this earlier. And sometimes you'll press a button that you didn't press. And it'll think it's the opposite button, so on and so forth. So, I'm looking at the video and editing of where I was showing the ports, and it looks too dark because I didn't have a flashlight to show the ports. I should learn from v Gus life when it comes to showing ports in poorly lit rooms, but I will have a photo of this in the video, and an orange circle pointing to whatever ports I'm describing. And then when it comes to the antennas, I actually do have video of it, and it's very visible from the camera so yeah back to the ports of this device so here are the ports on the back it has a headphone output jack a line out jack an auxiliary input jack a video out jack I don't know what this is used for but I do want to look into this a little bit more to see what it actually does and then right here are the antenna plugins for the AM loop antenna which I have right here on my TV one of my TVs to be exact and an FM antenna plug-in which I have that kind of wrapped around here and kind of the reason why I have the antenna like this is because if I had it all dangling down like right here where the loop antenna is I have one of the FM uh, antennas next to it to amplify the signal strength if I had them all dangling down like this one is I wouldn't be getting all the HD channels that I would have gotten so that's how I have the FM antenna pretty much set up I eventually want to move this or get a new antenna just to get some of the HD signals working like a lot of the iHeart media stations that are not picking up the HD signals on this device. But yeah, that's how I have uh, my antenna set up for FM. While I'm here, I'll have the remote. In my hand right here is turning on and off the alarms the sleep button that's also on the radio itself the function button as well which this changes the frequency switches to iPod auxiliary this is the power on and off switch preset equalizer memory for uh, setting the free frequency and just remembering where you were last I think that's what it, this is what it does. Preset button to uh, preset one of the um, 10 or 20 AM and FM stations. The tuning buttons to go down and up. Play pause for the iPod or iPhone, depending on which one you have. It pretty much works with the 2G, 3G, and iPhone 4. Because anything after the iPhone 5 uses the lightning adapter. HD tag, which will send the data from the radio station to your iPod or iPhone. And we'll put it into iTunes or look it up on iTunes. There's a mute button instead of going down with the remote or down with the tuning knob. And snooze. You could actually snooze this with the remote instead of just hitting the snooze button on the device which I find really interesting here's something cool it can also charge the iPod or iPhone It'll only detect it as an iPod, but 
that's pretty much what it's doing it's charging it and it just started playing uh, music I have some uh, music from Wally playing so that's pretty cool so now I'll grab the remote here and I will try to make this kind of quick in the function button you also have to boot the device just for it to work and right here this is supposed to be an HD station but I'm not sure why it's not picking it up very well we go to another station There's a emergency alert system. I guess it's a test. But it picked up the HD signal here. And it shows you the signal strength of the digital signal. Which that's pretty cool. And it also has tag button, USB, which I don't think this device uses, um, SD for SD card, ST is for stereo, so this is in stereo, and this is the HD1 signal, uh, Q101, WKQX, and this is the main reason why I got this radio is because of WKQX FM HD2 it's actually 97.9 .9 the loop moved from its original station since it got bought out by a Christian uh, company in Los Angeles moved to 101.1 .1 FM HD2 and is home for the Bob and Tom show in Chicago which is really weird that it, they would put it on an HD2 signal let me go to a analog station that's in my area Frustration or unhappiness will get in the way of somebody this is truly an analog hearing station what it is you have that to is Virgo, you relatively may close to me, and it still picks it up. HD radios are backwards compatible with analog radio, which is the reason why you should have an HD radio. Not just for analog radio, but for more channels. So I want to go to an HD radio station. I'll go to 103.5 FM. Apparently it's not uh, picking up the code for it, but the RBDS is being recognized and it is showing uh, what's playing and what is the station name pretty much we go back to that same HD radio station I was just at 101.1 FM it flashes the HD signal don't filter yourself talk to someone you trust together we can end the stigma whether you live with a mental illness try it again you do join the conversation at bringchangetomind.org Welcome back, 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 back to the music, 101 WKQX. Not sure if you could hear it, but if you heard the audio change from it sounding like a CD to sounding like it's coming from the internet, that's pretty much what HD radio does. It improves the quality of the audio to where it sounds like it's coming from the internet which the internet uses digital sounds an HD radio is pretty much a radio but it can also detect digital signals from an analog channel 
like I just showed you with 101.1 FM how it has two HD channels it's kind of like digital television but it's radio's version of it and people are thinking isn't HD radio satellite radio the answer is no satellite radio is actually ran by Sirius XM as you don't have to put in a frequency to access some of the channels as you could just search for XM channel this XM channel that and Sirius XM you actually have to pay for it instead of just tuning in for free which is what I'm doing with this radio set HD radio is free it's just not as popular in some areas that are in rural communities because AM is actually a cheaper frequency to operate in than FM and HD radio and some rural communities do have FM stations that play music but don't have an HD signal so this is why it's not popular in those areas but HD radio is popular in large cities like Chicago, Philadelphia, Indianapolis, uh, New York City, Los Angeles, California. Any big city that you can name of can actually support HD radio. And HD radio is free. It is not something that you have to pay for, which is the common misconception with people who try to... say that they don't want an HD radio because they think it's satellite radio and you have to pay for it. It is the exact opposite. It's totally free. Just radio sets cost over $50, which is outrageous for today, while a traditional analog radio that's powered by batteries, you could actually get those at dollar stores or places like Walmart and Target for just about under $20. I do plan to test out the emergency alerts because HD radio actually has a unique feature when it comes to the emergency alert system when it comes to severe weather alerts. So whenever I have severe weather in my area, which will be about a day or two from now, here in the Chicago area from when I'm filming this I will pretty much give you guys a video on that some of you also may not know that HD radio is also in your car along with CarPlay and Android Auto some people don't even know that and it is one of the features that car manufacturers have added they've added HD radio to those cars so that you can access different stations or if you don't use your car for music from like Apple Music or Spotify off of your phone you have a traditional radio and it's HD radio so you get more channels that's the benefit of having HD radio in your car which it also has unique features with emergency alerts as well but I don't have a vehicle that has HD radio so I can't test that out but there are videos on YouTube about it and you should check those out but with HD radio you have it in your car if you have a newer car that has Bluetooth built in pretty much so that's where you can find HD radio the easiest it's just not as known and it's not advertised as that. It just has a radio in it and usually people are good with it. But that's pretty much the easiest way you can find HD radio is if you have newer cars from around the time where Bluetooth was implemented into cars. And I believe HD radio does have potential to advance, but... Also, I don't think analog radio is going to go away because analog radio is still more reliable than HD radio. So that's something you should keep in mind with. And while I was editing, it is 4.48 in the morning, almost time for the Bob and Tom show. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you. The iPod is charging, but when I turn it on... 
it stops charging. So in order to charge the iPod with this, you actually have to have the radio feature off. You can charge this while using the iPod on this radio or having an aux input into the radio, but you cannot charge the iPod with the radio on on AM or FM. So that's my video of this Teak HD1 HD radio. It's a really good buy that I got from eBay for 35 bucks. So if you find one of these with the box remote and everything, you pretty much got a good deal as long as it's under $30 for the item and then 15 for shipping. So about 50 bucks even for everything, including the box. It's worth the deal. And eventually I'm going to make a video on this iPod. So stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys in the next video.